Hello and welcome to my energizing yoga flow. This beautiful gentle flow is for anyone who doesn't have a lot of time, who finds it difficult getting up and down from the floor, and anyone who would like to stretch particularly the hips and the shoulders. You may need a yoga block or a strap for eagle arm pose. Please click on the link above to watch my yoga for surface video of how to use the strap to get into the pose safely. Please remember the more you practice this routine, the more familiar and easier it will become and the more flexibility you'll notice in your body overall, especially in your hips and shoulders. Please remember to like and share this video and also you can subscribe for free to my YouTube channel Sarah Lane Therapies to see other yoga videos. Now when you're ready with the feet wide apart and the hands in a prayer in front of the heart, on your next breath in we'll sweep the arms up towards the ceiling. And as you exhale, bend your right knee. Imagine you want to touch your right foot. The inhale, straightening the legs, stretch up towards the ceiling. And exhale, bend the left leg and imagine you want to touch the left foot. Inhale again, straighten the legs, stretch up. And as you exhale, turning out the right foot, we're coming to warrior two. Nice, slow breathing here. Inhale once more. And on your exhale, we'll come to reverse warrior, resting on your straight leg. Inhale, come into the center, and as you exhale, coming into extended side angle pose, you can rest your hands on your thigh, on a block, or on the floor. Nice, slow breathing. On your next breath, and we'll come all the way back up. Exhale, straightening the leg, we'll come into triangle posture. So really drawing the left shoulder back, we'll inhale, come into the center. Now exhale, wrap the arms into eagle arms, and try and square your hips to the short side of the mat if you can. Take a breath in, and as you exhale, gently twist all the way to the other side. Pausing here for a moment, we'll inhale, come back into warrior two. As you exhale, we'll do reverse warrior. Inhale once more, come back into the center. And exhale into extended side angle pose. Inhale when you're ready, come back into the center. Straightening the leg or exhale again into triangle position. Pausing here just for a moment. Next breath and we'll come back up to warrior two. We'll wrap the arms into eagle arms, square the hips off of the short side of the mat if you can. Inhale and as you exhale, coming all the way over to the other side, just pausing here for a moment. Next breath in, we'll straighten the leg, unwrap the arms, stretch the arms up towards the ceiling. And as you exhale, we'll come into a wide forward fold, just pausing here. You can just rest your hands on the floor. You can take the hands, the outside of the calves, the ankles, wherever feels comfortable. Remember to bend your knees in this position if it feels more comfortable. Nice, slow breathing. To work a little bit deeper, only if it feels comfortable, you can take hold of the big toe with the first two fingers and encourage a gentle stretch. To come out of this posture, bring the hands onto the hips, inhale, gently come all the way up, stretching your arms up to the ceiling, and we'll exhale, come into a prayer in front of the heart, and we'll do all the same thing all over again. So inhale, sweep the arms up, exhale, bend the right knee, imagine you want to touch the right foot, inhale, sweep the arms up to the center, and exhale to the other side. Inhale to the center, stretching the arms up. As you exhale, turn again out the right foot and come into warrior two. Inhale, exhale now into reverse warrior, resting on the straight leg, stretching and opening the side of the body. Inhale, come into the center and exhale into extended side angle pose. Really open and stretch the body. Inhale once more, coming into warrior two. Now we'll exhale, come into triangle posture. Nice, slow breathing. Inhale, coming all the way back up. We'll exhale, re-bend the knee as we wrap the arms in goddess, in eagle arms, stretching the hands out. Remember, you can use your strap if you need to. Inhale, we'll exhale, twist all the way to the other side, trying to square the hips off with the front. Inhale, back into warrior two. Exhale into reverse warrior, opening now the left side of the torso. Inhale when you're ready, back into warrior two. And exhale into extended side angle pose. Next breath in, we'll gently come all the way back up as we straighten the leg. 
and exhale into triangle. Inhale, coming back up. Exhale, rebending the knee, wrapping the arms into eagle arm, squaring the hips off. Take a breath in. Exhale, come all the way to the other side. Inhale when you're ready, straightening the legs, unwrapping the arms, turning the feet so they're parallel, stretch the arms up to the ceiling, and exhale once more, come into a wide forward fold, taking hold of the outside of the thighs, the calves, the ankles, wherever feels comfortable. Nice slow breathing. If it feels more comfortable here, you can take hold of the big toe with the fingers and gently encourage a gentle stretch. Remember, if you need to bend your knees in this position to relax the back of the legs, always feel free to do so. To come out of the posture, bring your hands on your hips. Inhale, slowly come up, stretch the hands up to the ceiling, and exhale, we'll finish here. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember, the more you watch and practice this routine, the easier it will become.